This video is sponsored by the land grabs. No, seriously. They gave me 5k to build a house and we are gonna do exactly that in their home world, I suppose. Now with 5,000, I'm not sure if we are gonna be able to execute it on a big lot. So we're gonna go for a smaller lot, maybe 30 by 20 or maybe, no. Yeah, let's go for 30 by 20. Yeah, let's do this. All right, we got business Nancy over here. She's gonna be supervising our work. And you know, I asked her actually, like, why are you giving me so little money to work with? Like seriously, 5k is not thing i mean you build a room just like this and it's already freaking two thousand bucks like there's our money gone but you know nancy over here is one big ass cheapskate and that is why she doesn't care she just wants us to build a house with a very small budget so yeah let's see if we can you know do this anyway so we're gonna start by grabbing our essentials okay let's go a toilet of 250 okay shower of 300 we need at least one sink in this house this is our bathroom functional as it is well basically if we have any money left we can add things like the toilet paper the mirror all that crap we have a fridge of 215 but it's gonna be sad to use this rundown one we can maybe try and go for this one we can use the rundown stove though for the kitchen we'll also need a bin we're gonna need at least one or two cabinets like i, I would like to use two though i don't want to use only just one okay going over into the bedroom we're gonna have a one bedroom household but i think i'm gonna make this available for twosomes so maybe we can go in for this bit over here 290 oh my god look at our money go down very very fast okay we can maybe go in for a cheaper way of doing our dresser this one maybe we could go for the kitties one but yeah like how do we feel about this like it depends really on how much money we have left after grabbing all of the essentials that's gonna depend on what else we can add and or replace for side tables for our bed we can use at least one living room wise we can either go dining or living room let's see which is gonna be the most not expensive <laughs> a table at its cheapest is 200 bucks a sofa at its cheapest is 180 if we go for maybe this one the 30 buck one we can have okay no these chairs are too school like like i mean they do come from high school years so it makes sense plastic chairs are 30 bucks each these are 30 bucks each a little bit rustic and run down these are 45 and still pretty good looking these are the same maybe this chair over here we can have at least two of and a table for them well this is so small and so sad i know but we're gonna need a lot of money still to you know build the exterior hopefully we still have some money left after that in terms of study i'm only gonna add a basic skill building item which is essential they could maybe be into wellness you know the meditation life maybe give them a yoga mat and maybe a bookshelf 240 for this bookshelf which looks pretty neat actually the outside has everything to do with how much money we have left okay so let's figure out the shape of our house with a 2220 budget <laughs> okay this is already scary maybe we can build this and add a little room at the back here oh my god that took all of our money <laughs> maybe make it smaller I have a little wing on this side gosh 60 bucks we're gonna have no money to paint this house or add windows or anything so i suppose we're gonna have to go with the poor shape that we have and i might have to move this house to a different lot maybe as well this is gonna be the smallest mediterranean house ever and how are we gonna fit all of these things into this little house nancy you really had to do this to me gosh like this is so unnecessary extremely sad and i can't even do something fancy here because the money isn't allowing me to do that i have to be very careful with my budget as i go around this house with adding windows like i am so scared of that freaking budget over there just just look how little it is i mean can we get away with this amount of windows i think so i'm gonna have a small privacy window for our bathroom all right the interior probably freaks me out the most okay because we're gonna still add doors and stuff although we can maybe be a little bit sneaky have this as a make-believe diagonal door we can just maybe add like like a curtain over here okay so i managed to paint some parts of the house over here can we at least do the interior still great okay we're gonna need some flooring as well of course we're left with six simoleons and i don't think
think there's anything that we can buy with six simoleons except maybe, well, nothing. We can do that, but I'm not gonna do that. At least, you know, the roofs are free. That's the nice thing about this. We have free roofs. Oh, that's adorable. Well, maybe we can add something else here instead of having a little room. So, I mean, gives us a little bit more money to play around with. Maybe we can add something up here to bring out the Mediterraneanness of this house, I suppose. 150, maybe this item over here. You know what I think we should do? We should jump into debug because there's gonna be a lot of free items that we can use, especially plants and stuff like that. So we're definitely gonna go for debug in a second. I just want to get a roof trim on here, maybe. Oh wait, the roof color should be Mediterranean-ish as well. I also decided to extend it out a little bit here at the back. Hopefully we can find some debug lighting. That would be cool. I think I actually want to change this house to a different shade of cream or peach. Yeah, I like this one better. Okay, I found some flat stepping stones that we can use for an entrance. I know we can spray paint the entrance way, but I mean, these just look super nice actually. So I think I'm gonna use those. Alright, you know, before I go on with the whole debug craziness, maybe we should figure out how we're gonna do things in the interior. Alright, so we have a side table here for our bed. This is really gonna be a toiny home, you guys. Bathroom, gonna be covered up in its own way. Hopefully we have some debug curtains or something. Okay, it seems like Nancy can use the toilet. Oh, she just disappeared. So she can use the toilet over there and she can take a shower, I suppose. Okay, that's cool. Cool. All right, Nancy, get out. You know, maybe we can get away with having only one counter. The wardrobe situation is what makes a house functional in a way. So we are gonna have one. But maybe it can be positioned over there. You know, like we're not gonna use it actually because it's not necessary to use it. We have a little place to sit and eat at. Maybe we can take that away, have the bed over here and have our wardrobe as our bedside table. And this can be outside somewhere, I feel. The bookshelf shell can be oh my gosh i really don't know where all right to taste the functionality of this sitting which looks horrendous i know but it's okay let's go ahead and sit on the bed all right we can perhaps grab a book good okay she's gonna sit there anyway can we prepare a meal of some sort okay that's great good we can work with this brilliant okay get out of there we are on this small lot over here now uh there is the original lot that we started on but i actually did not think that our house would be this small with 5k but you know also i knew it would be quite tiny but yeah so since we have the essentials in our house and everything is functional i suppose we can use the less of our money over here to see what else we can do change or add to the interior of this house before we move forward to the exterior and debug craziness all right so you got two lights in here at least maybe we can afford to add a curtain or two okay these are 35 each can i maybe get a different wardrobe i am really not a fan of this freaking wardrobe seriously okay we can have these modular shelves only one of them of course oh yeah it attaches to the bookcase i forgot that it does that how about black do you have a black one yeah there we go and then we can use the hanging clothes which are 100 bucks each but it is okay hang them over there that's gonna be our wardrobe these chairs i might keep but change the swatch of luckily this bed also has some nice swatches we can maybe still have it on this angle so this sink is gonna be for bathroom and kitchen use which sucks and i don't think we're gonna be able to add another sink here okay we can but it's gonna take all our money and um we're gonna have no counter space if we do this how about something over here no it doesn't want to work with me apparently um this is 95 and it's so expensive jeez okay like i said hopefully we can find some curtains in debug like that would help us so freaking much if that is the case but yeah we'll see oh my gosh we can actually get a tablet for free that's amazing okay this i'm gonna take away <laughs> so cool that we can have a tablet for free although i don't think it's functional but you know whether it is or not it's fine still nice for decor so yeah i'm happy with it oh we have a petty mask over here we can have this as a decorative object for the outside because you know this person living here is gonna be into wellness so yeah i think that's kind of nice actually it makes sense having 
having that over there. Maybe I have a bag of groceries over there on the counter. Okay, I probably spent an hour and a half just finding a few random things out of debug. Like this table over here and these two chairs. They're all absolutely for free. This planter that I decided to place plants inside of. This little thingy over there and that which was not for free. This umbrella that's closed. This thing over here. We can probably put some more plants in it as well. And some more planters. Yeah, a lot of planty things. Also the ivy for against the walls, you know, to cover up some patches where we don't really have curtains. On the inside, I decided to place a curtain over here so that you can, you know, make believe close it when you go into the bathroom. And here's a rug, a knitted one that was for free as well, which is really nice. And yeah, that's basically all I really added to the interior. Nothing really changed inside there. But let's go ahead and figure out what we're gonna do with all of this junk. Okay, so first off, we have our little area over here where we do our wellness. I think I'm gonna spray paint some walkways over here. I suppose we can still have these stones over here, although I am gonna spray over it with the spray paints, but it still looks cool in a way. We can have a little walkway over here. Now I know the plants are scattered, they're not gonna stay where they are, so don't worry about that. I like to spray some dirt patches around as well for where there is gonna be plants. You can grab one of these debug plants and raise them a little bit, put them inside of that pot over there. It's pretty nice. Let's just finish up the spray paint work on this side and over here where we have some more plants. I always like putting a thin layer of dirt around any pavement spray paint because it just feels like you know it's a little bit older than usual you know like the stonework and it gives it a nice outline just give some more depth to the stone pavement you know kind of looks cool I think I'm gonna get rid of this umbrella because it just doesn't feel like it fits anymore somehow. There will be no harm in putting some cacti in these pots, you know, unless you touch them. So yeah, don't touch them. Have some flowers growing wildly in them too. Yeah, that's cute. I decided to repurpose these rocks that I put at the entrance to make like a kind of rocky outline because we can't use actual rocks because they are expensive. They cost money and uh, we don't really have money of our own to do real rocks. So gonna have to improvise a little bit. Yeah, I like the idea of that. If you add a little bit of dirt outlining the house, it also gives the house a little bit more detail as well. All right, there we go. Okay, for a budget of 5,000 simoleons, I feel like I did not do such a terrible job as I thought I would, actually. I mean, Nancy over here doesn't seem to be very impressed. I think she expected maybe better. I don't know, but I mean, what can you expect from a 5,000 simoleon house? But anyway, so this is how the exterior looks in general now. I just moved some plants around, took away some plants because we had way too much of those. And we have some overgrown plants at the sides here as I said before, to cover up the fact that we cannot really add a lot of curtains and stuff. And back here is the honestly very boring little yoga spot, you know. <laughs> but anyway, let's take a tour of our little Mediterranean 5k house. Oh yeah, and just so you know, it's fully functional. I didn't paint the roof because, well, our budget wouldn't really allow it. But yeah, just look how beautiful the plants look outside here. I think it's quite nice, but I would have loved to add the cabinets and stuff. But anyway, we have a curtain here so that you can and close it up and have some privacy when you go to the toilet and all those things. The little kitchen area is very bland and boring. Here's a little sink over here. I still don't think this is the best spot for the sink, but I mean, in a house this small, I mean, where are you gonna put everything? But yeah, here is a little sitting area and here is, well, the sleeping quarters. But yeah, Nancy, what do you think about this build? Do, do you like it? What, what do you mean I could have done more? I only had 5k. I only had 5k, man. Give me a break. No, Nancy, you're just, you're just being ridiculous. Trust me, you guys don't want to know what Nancy just told me over there. Like, it's just, just too inappropriate for this video. But anyway. Okay, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one.